Time to reach for the sky, pillar. I mean, may as well. I don't like I have anything else to do. There is hunting down that one red bastard, but we can worry about that much later. By much later, I mean maybe next episode. I don't know. Maybe I'll just take time to explore and see if I'm lucky and run into it. You never know the way things go. Anything could happen. But for now, we're just going to go to the sky pillar and see what we can uncover. It's time to explore the last dungeon of the game. And well, we're worthy dungeon this is, I guess. The sky pillar. We're basically going for a long climb. We come up here and the sky pillar is awaiting us. Right here. Well, let's check it out, I guess. And well, there's strong Pokemon here. I think ghost Pokemon in particular. And dragons as well. So you find Vagon in here, I think, but well. We'll just see who we stumble across. God damn it, and it's a piece of shit. A strong piece of shit, but a piece of shit nonetheless. Anyway, welcome back everybody. Ah, to more Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire version. This is your host, Wow, the MJ 406. And uh, yeah, we're exploring the Sky Pillar now as I ran to a freaking level 50 Claydol. Wow! Hey, 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 don't you dare do Hyper Beam. Fuck you. No, bad Claydol, bad. That's right, Ground Pokemon would still get paralyzed, bitch. Not till Gen 5 or 6, I got rid of that. Oh no, ow! That's gonna hurt a little. That's gonna hurt a lot a little. Oh, Aerial Ace, maybe I'll do more to you. Sadly, no. But yep, expect the strongest blood Pokemon here. Golbats, Claydols, more Sableyes, the works. You got a lot of work cut out for you in this place, so you know. Don't be afraid to put on a super repel or something if you want to try to avoid all these encounters. I think the highest level wall Pokemon here is 50, though, so don't worry about it. Be more worried about what's up top. That's what you should be worried about. Oh, crap, I need the mock bike. Oh, son of a bitch. So, I need the mock bike back. God damn it. I was not prepared either way, son of a bitch! Ah! Well, good start again. Because I forgot I needed the mock bike for this place. Alright, I'll make up for it by putting on a super repel when I get back. God damn it. What the hell, man? Is it enough, though? Is there a cave in. Is there a Pokemon in this cave on the way up? I don't know. We'll never know. Okay, let's go get our mock bike back, cause god damn it. Why can't anything just be simple in this game? Why? Oh God, explore the world in this game sucks! It never is this bad again. It never gets this bad again. Like, the alternate bike thing is stupid. Why can't you just have one that does both? Why do you need to have two different ones? Oh, because it makes it challenging, it means you have to make choices that shouldn't mean shouldn't make the game harder to play god damn it Ugh. not to mention there's water everywhere so you gotta surf not to mention you have to have a water pump as well and have three HM booms on it so you can fully explore the water oh god gen 3 you suck <laughs> oh my god it's painful it is painful well, the Mirage Island still isn't there. I don't think it's ever going to show up. I've checked that thing for like 15, 20 days. I have not seen it show up once yet. It is obnoxious how much it is not showing up. All right. Well, either way, we're back. Now let's try this again. This is going to be an annoying trick. Having to go with a mock bike across this is just asking for trouble. Damn you, Repel! Freaking Repel. Well, I gotta do this so I don't keep having freaking random Pokemon encounters. There we go, made it up. Well, hang on a sec. Let me get off the bike for now. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. 
I don't know if there's any hidden items around here. We're gonna check anyway. But yep, you got a crazy trek to go up. It looks like you need Mock Bike to do some of these treks because of crap like this. And yeah, it's a bitch. I completely forgot what a stupid obstacle course they have here. Well, hang on. Let me prep myself. Go full speed! Oh, I already screwed myself. Ah! Damn it! Oh, this is the worst. I did that again. No! Too bad the Aquabike can't hop over this. And it's not fast enough to avoid the holes. Oh, God damn it, Repel! Stop screwing me over! Well, I'm glad I bought all these Super Repels then, because apparently I'm going to need every last one of them. No, I hit a rock! Damn it. At least it made it so you can't crumble on top of a wall or something. Oh! Yeah, this place is the worst. This is a much better location than the remakes. And again, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure the location of the remakes is based off of, uh... The third gen game, Emerald. Which I can't think of the differences between these games and Emerald on top of my head. Oh! Yeah, this, this just sucks, alright? This just sucks, okay? Huh! Did my super repel wear off? Or are you just really strong? Well, you're stronger than my Atari, at least. Who oh, no. know? In that case, you need to move. I'll paralyze you so you don't become a father. That's right. Now, leave me alone. I still have PD Max. I should probably give that to a move. Ah, oh, Will-O-Wisp. A move that just causes burn. That's all it does. Still, if you want to guarantee burn, now you have a move for it. Which is nice, I guess. All right. Since you're going to be a giant pain in the ass. I won't repel to work, damn it. Wait, what am I doing? Ah, oh, those rocks! I hate the mock bike so much! Oh. All right, I'll try this one more time. That'll time warp to me finally getting across this frickin' annoying pile of rocks. Oh, I see what I have to do here. I have to fall here, right? Shit! Well, I figured it out. So maybe I won't time warp. Oh, you suck! Get away from me! I'm just killing you out of spite now. That's what you get, asshole. Oh, you didn't die. Ah, Poison Fang! I forgot the new move you have now. No! How dare you, Poison Mudkip! For that, tackle. <laughs> That's right, you got killed by tackle. How do you feel? Why do I still have tackle with my Mudkip? Why? Because I'm an idiot. That's why. Okay, if I fall again, I will time warp that. Forgot about that. Do I still have antidotes? I have all the cookies. That should do it. Alright. I will time warp if I fail again, so... Uh, well, time warp time. I hate exploring this place so much. I really do. It's aggravating. There we go! I finally made it! Ugh. What a pain in my ass. Gotta use another super repel. At least I finally made it, though. And there's your way back. If you need it. Oh, looks like there's one more. Oh, God! There's a strong one up here! What the hell am I fighting? Whoa! Oh, 56. Damn. All right. Well, so you can actually challenge my freaking mud kit. Fine, I'll take you down. At least I thought you could find Bagons, maybe Shellgon in here. Maybe I'm wrong. 
I think you can find Shelgon in here. I don't honestly know, though. All right, so Super Repels look like they're worthless right now. Looks like the higher you go up, the higher the levels the Pokemon are. So they go with more the way it worked in, um, the Cave of Origin or whatever, and, uh, where you found Mewtwo in Pokemon Red and Blue. So they're going that route. All right, then. If that's the way you want it to be, so it shall be. Now, die. So, yeah. Again, you can only come here after you beat the Elite Four. There's a reason for that. Because he's like, our powerful! Oh, we made it to the top! Good. Well, that's the strongest of them. What the hell is that? That looks freaky. You're not missing a lot of health, right? Okay. Well, I'm gonna save here because knowing my luck, I'll be stupid. So! Actually, hang on a sec. This is what you were born for, Altaria. I hope you're ready. So let me give you one of those hyper potions I have too many of. Save again. And now we're ready. Because it's the last of our legendaries that, well, other than the one I'm going to go explore to find, which would suck. But yep, we have this green dragon thing with the same legendary music from when you fight Kyogre slash Groudon. It's Rayquaza! Level 70, as you would suspect. It's a dragon flying type, and well, its speed is its greatest attribute. This one also has rest, by the way! Yep, they gave a legendary rest! Cause yeah, they wanted it to be painful. Oh boy. This could hurt. By the way, Rayquaza can actually learn fly for some reason. But, yeah, as you would suspect, it's really strong. I mean, it's level 70. I suspect nothing less. Well, looks like Artaria is dead. Unless... I may as well use all these items now, because I have no more uses for them at all. This is the last thing I need items for. I may as well go all out to do what I can to catch this thing. I swear, you better not kill that fuck. Okay, well. Good thing you went to sleep. In that case, I guess I'll just keep dragon breathing you. You got two turns for asleep. So I've got a little bit, I can at least knock down its health a bit. It's asleep, so it's even easier to catch now. And I knocked it down to less than half its HP. Me, there's no better time to catch it than now. Let's go Ultra Ball! I still have enough of you. And I got Timer Balls, too. That's the last thing I'm gonna need all these for. I still don't know how they can break out when they're sleeping, but you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. I shouldn't worry about it. Let's try again! I'm not gonna let you get away from me so easy, you freaking long dragon! This is weird, like, snake dragon. Ow! Well, I should've healed you, Altaria. Sorry about that. I did not think that far ahead. I remember not to run, like I did before. Hmm. All right then. What should I do to you? That could kill it, though. Yeah, screw it. Oh, no! Somehow I did not see that coming. Watch, it's gonna kill him. It's gonna kill her in one hit. Watch, watch, watch. It's gonna kill her in one hit. Never mind. Oh, well, this will do nothing now. Great. What a great move I thought of. God damn it. I just realized that would do practically nothing. Well, I can't inflict the status condition on it right now. So I'll just hope for the best. Nope. Extreme speed. A faster version of quick attack. And twice as strong. I forgot to mention that, too. Extreme speed's a pretty big deal. Okay. Well, Agra can survive everything, so... Also, there's one thing I want to test out. Let me see all my, uh... 
Okay. Strength is at 15 PP. Ow, ow, ow! Asshole! That hurt. And it shows that you are strong. Okay, I shall hurl you around a little. Okay, never mind. I thought it had a, uh... I thought it had an ability referred to as pressure. I guess that's a big thing that comes in Gen 4. So never mind about that now. Wow! Are you fucking... Are you kidding me? This was that easy to catch? Fuck off, game! Fuck you! <laughs> Alright, here we are! We have Rayquaza, the last Pokémon in this main game! The Sky High Pokémon. Rayquaza, Rayquaza is said to have lived for hundreds of millions of years in the Earth's ozone layer above the clouds. Its existence had been completely unknown because it lived so high in the sky, but because the ozone layers were getting destroyed because of the pollution that everyone does- Oh my god, Pokédex! Shut up! I get it, you're an environmentalist, Pokédex. Who cares? Jeez. I'm gonna be an asshole. But yep! Yeah. We finally caught our last of the, uh, well, legendaries that stay in one location, anyway. Oh no, the burning! Ah! Not the automatic burn! You asshole! How dare you hurt my cat turn that way! It did nothing to you, and you're gonna be an asshole. Screw you. Well? But Kip, get back to the front of the party so we can get out of here gracefully. I haven't seen a single dust clops in here, though. There's a 10% chance I could run into the dust Skull family, I'm pretty sure, so... You know, it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be. Well, at least getting out of here will be easy. I would hope, anyway. What do I know? I know this clay doll's an asshole. That I. It knows levitate! Damn it, I meant to do surf! Ugh. Well, you know, we got through that faster than I thought we would. I did not expect that we would get through uh, catching Rayquaza so fast. Well, it's a very exciting day, isn't it? Yeah, very exciting indeed. No! Let me out! Ah! Clay doll, back off! I just want to get out of here. I don't want to use sewer repel right now, because I have plans. So how about you don't make me initiate those plans, please? Oh, cool, we can fly from up here. That's good to know. Alright. Hmm. Well? We still got time for things. What should I do now? Because, well, I didn't have plans for anything else this episode because I thought that battle was going to go on for much longer than it did. Hmm. Well, I have one thing I could do. So! You know how I mentioned there's a roaming legendary? Maybe we'll get news on it. Maybe. Because, well, there's something you can get for the TV. Oh, never mind. Another the televisions right now. I was going to say, maybe the television can tell you its location, but nope, not today. What a pain in the neck. If I remember, I thought there was a spot where someone would tell you there's a horde of Pokemon somewhere you could check out. Like, oh my god, there's a body of water there I never checked. I never checked this body of water. What's around here? An item. Hey, another HP up. Nice. Well, cool. I forgot to surf here. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I thought there was a spot where you could, like, find, like, hordes of Pokemon. That's how I'm able to get, uh, C-Dot in Sapphire. Because, well, the Pokemon hordes. Supposedly, certain Pokemon surge in certain areas. So you can do that to try to, uh, you know catch some extra Pokemon, including those you can't find in your generation. Like Seedon. I thought there was a TV somewhere that did that. Maybe that's every... Maybe you get one of those every day. I think every day that changes. Along with certain stores getting discounts, so you get 50% off their uh, stuff. Which is really good to know about. If you feel like you need to know about the uh, discounts at stores when you're trying to buy stuff. I don't know if it happens to the Pokedoll stores, but it might. 
But yep, every day, check the TVs and make it some important info. For shop discounts, Pokemon hordes show up in certain areas. You never know what you'll find. In case you can't, in case you're wondering why I'm exploring the grass looking for Pokemon right now, it should be obvious what I'm doing. So I'll just explain this now. For those of you who don't remember from Pokemon Gold and Silver, I may as well bring this up. This last red flying Pokemon that they mentioned that's hard to find, well, it's technically not a version exclusive, actually, but, well, that's because of an event item that we can't get normally. Because you need to, uh, yeah, event item. But by the way, the other Pokemon that we can't get... Oh, the berries there are gone. Huh. Maybe I forgot to play berries there. Or that, or they grew and... They grew and dropped so much that they just died off. Oops. I should be more careful of those berries. But anyway, yeah. This flying monstrosity, you can't find at a particular location. So instead, you got to explore the world like it does. Ah, I mean, who misses these roaming legendaries? Goddamn roaming legendaries. This game had to have one of those two. I mean, at least it's not three, like it was with Pokemon Gold and Silver, and it's not implemented quite as bad as that game. But the fact remains that there is still a roaming legendary in this game. Your only way to find it is to hope that through random Pokemon encounters, you eventually come across it. Once you track it at least once, you can use the Pokedex to track its location. Unfortunately, until then, all you can do is wander and hope. That is what I'm doing right now, in case you're curious. Oh, the first contest hall is there, but I want to make more Pokeblocks to raise the cool of, uh, my, uh, Swallow before I do the contest. Maybe I'll do that next episode. Why not? Yeah, maybe the next episode will be the contest episode. Why not? Because, uh, well, clearly, hunting down this red flying creature is going to be a burden. Maybe I'll spend the next episode where I track it down. Wouldn't that be nice? As well, that's the only way I feel like I'm going to be able to find this freaking thing. Otherwise, we're just going to run into stupid creatures like you. And well, I can say this much. I have a good use for that Master Ball. The only oh yeah, by the way, about the roaming legendaries, yeah. They run around, you have to find the random locations. Once you find the ones, you can track them on the Pokedex. Here's the other annoying thing about them. The most annoying thing about roaming legendaries... They'd be fine if, you know, they, like... Once you found them, you can battle them. But, well... The roaming legendaries like to run. So, you know... If you don't trap them or catch them... They will run off, and you'll have to find them again. So, until then, it's a tedious hunt like this, trying to find that thing. And it sucks. And it sucks. Finding these freaking creatures! But, well, this is the pain of trying to find one Pokemon. Whether it's in one bunch of grass on a certain route you're trying to find out. Or, if it's just, you know... Out in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, I do have a Meryl. I forgot about that. Basically, you gotta hunt down until you find it. And well, best of luck. Because that's all you can get. Luck. You need luck if you want to track it down. You can find it on the waters, by the way. So you can surf and find it too. But you're better off exploring the grass. To try to track it down. Just go through a bunch of routes. Hunt down grass and hope it comes up. If it doesn't, tough luck. Keep looking. There's a reason they eventually got rid of these. Because roaming legendaries are the worst. They are the worst. They really, really are. Like, I don't know anybody who likes roaming legendaries. Because they suck! That's the only big problem I have with Gen 2. And even then, it was a smaller map, so it was easy to track down. In fact, there's only one. 
and it's such a huge map. Finding it is incredibly difficult. I hope you're lucky to actually run into it. Nobody gives you a hint as to its location. You just gotta find it and hope you find... Huh! Well, Lord, you look at that. I found it. It's Latios! Here's your rolling legendary of Pokemon Sapphire, Latios. There's a blue alternative. That's the roaming legendary of Pokemon Ruby, Latios. What am I doing? Like I said, if it runs away, you can track it down and try to find it by using the Pokedex to track its location and follow it as it goes. And well, catch it. This is the one reason you want to have a Master Ball on hand, so you can catch this freaking thing. And there we go. No more legend, no more roaming legendary to have it tracked down. Thank God. Here's Latios, the Eon Pokemon. Latios is highly intelligent, capable of understanding human speech. It is covered with a glass-like down. The Pokemon enfolds its body with its down and refracts light to alter its appearance. Huh? That's neat. Well. This was a successful episode, again. I didn't think I was going to run into it, but, you know, I'm happy I did. Cool. All right, then. That'll do it for this episode. Good. I tracked it down. I'm not even going to go chasing it. Fuck that. If you want that experience, you got a whole episode in Pokemon Gold about me doing that. And it was painful. It was painful. Well, there we go. That knocks that out. So, see you mine there. Beldum, Rayquaza, and Latios. Which, by the way, technically it's a version exclusive with the exception of that event item, the Eon Ticket. Getting the Eon Ticket lets you go to an island where you have a regular encounter with the alternative one. But because it's an event item, you pretty much can't get it. You can't get it by normal means. So, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, they're version exclusive. But, you know, if you're lucky and you manage to be able to get an Eon ticket, good for you. Until then, that's all I can get. Well, that's all the Pokemon catching I wanted to do. Good. All right, then. Come back next time and, uh... <sighs> I guess it's finally time. We're going to go over the Pokemon contests. I'm going to get some Pokeblocks, grind it up. You saw me do that enough. I'll raise this cool as much as I can. And we'll try to go through Pokemon contests. I'll see how far I can go, I guess. Once I lose, or at least until the episode's done, we'll be done. But, you know, at least it'll be nice to show it off and give it a good, honest effort. I put it off long enough, because it's been around the game for the entire time, so. Let's just get it out of the way and try to have a good time. See you guys next time.